medical imaging sciences has already proven invaluable to modern healthcare delivery. It has been revolutionary. But these technologies are generally seen as being, if you will, more complex and expensive. And there are increasing pressures to be able to deliver healthcare uh, at a lower cost. That's where we, we have a somewhat of a, a potential disconnect. We need to focus on research technology innovation and driving down costs of healthcare delivery, driving up outcomes and quality of care. One of the issues that we face is the variability in imaging results. We uh, work with the manufacturing uh, groups uh, to develop a, a, a realm of, of technologies that we refer to as adaptive imaging. The system is being designed to be able to recognize the particular attributes of the patient. Those parameters will be optimized automatically with the system recognizing what the uh, patient represents or needs. The objective which we are realizing is consistent high diagnostic quality of the scans. We, we will be able to extract much more value from the system. The Department of Medical Imaging here at the University of Arizona really looks at technology development as a way to really advance patient care. We've uh, really taken that under Dr. Martin's leadership as sort of a, uh, the, the central core of our mission here. We are actually uh, imaging uh, patients that present to the emergency room uh, with, the, with acute abdominal pain, now with MRI as the first test. Now, this is not done routinely really anywhere across the country or the world. And our strategy here is that uh, MRI can be more accurate for more causes of abdominal pain, especially when compared to CT and ultrasound. Uh, it, uh, is a, is, it, it is a non-invasive and also a uh, Imaging methodology with an excellent safety profile, no ionizing radiation, and our protocol utilizes no intravenous contrast. So these patients can be brought in the emergency room. We have an accelerated protocol where the patient is on and off the table in approximately 10 minutes. By imaging faster and, high, and higher quality, not only do we get diagnosis more consistently, more accurately, uh, and more quantitatively, but we do it in a shorter time. So you can see over the last three years, we scan three times as many patients, now over 30,000 patients per year, in approximately the same number of scanners, just through improving the technology. While we talk a lot about bench-to-bedside type of research, I think we're going both ways. We're starting at the bedside, seeing the applications that are needed, and then going back to the bench to redesign. And that uh, continual feedback loop has really been a strength of our university. We have a team focusing on uh, translating uh, our technology and innovation, uh, our approach towards reducing variability and improving performance of our MR systems uh, through our uh, learning center. Dr. Martin created a, a learning center here at the University of Arizona and within that learning center it gives us an opportunity to teach private practice radiologists advanced techniques um, that otherwise they may think is purely limited to a university uh, setting, uh, but instead we're trying to make it something which is achievable on a smaller scale. And really to accomplish that and to accomplish it well, not only do we have to bring in the private practice radiologists, but we have to encourage them to bring in their technologists and their physicists. So the technologists and physicists become comfortable with what we have here, and then they're far more likely to go back to where they're from and to implement that into their daily practice. And I think that is really where we're going to see the impact as far as our ability to improve patient care. We take care of our patients here at the University of Arizona, but we also have a, a, a larger goal, and that is to overall improve the health of what we can provide through our entire healthcare delivery system here within the state of Arizona, looking forward into uh, the United States at large and maybe even beyond uh, the borders of the United States. We are at a point in technical uh, development that will go down in history as, as one of the most transformative set of years. And it's a very exciting time 
uh, to be in this field. And it is definitely our goal to have the University of Arizona play a, a leadership role in this period of transformation.